Hi everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today I'm coming to you with a big disaster. Not a disaster, not a, not a disaster at all. With a big purchase that I would like to unbox with you. Uh, now, I actually wanted to take a break from YouTube, but here we are. I think I must be addicted to you guys. I love talking to you and yes, here I am in my break right so um let us unbox this baby i and i will tell you all about this purchase also in this video you will see a ton of everyday outfit ideas by integrating so many styling ideas to this video i really hope to make this video also interesting for those uh, viewers who are not into um specs there is a story behind every Hermes bag I have the feeling I'm shaking <laughs> I don't know why I know what is in there right obviously uh, but yeah so uh, the sales associate at the Hermes uh, gave me some goodies she was a lovely girl wow god I'm a bit too nervous to talk actually how should we do this? With some of Hermes items, I have felt the same way 15 years ago and nothing has changed after all these years. And this speaks for itself, right? The Kelly bag being one of those items. But to be honest with you, after Kelly, I never thought I would get another bag from Hermes because as you know, these bags are extremely expensive and also very difficult to get your hands on, especially for somebody who is not a typical Hermes customer, right? But what happened with this bag, what, around one year ago, I saw the exact combination you see here on social media and that picture stuck with me. I could not get that picture out of my head and I tried, I tried, believe me, I tried. So this is a Birkin 30 in Togo leather in Retonne and uh, the color is a tube with palladium hardware. Wahnsinn. Oh God, this is einfach unglaublich. Okay, so let us uh, talk about how I got this bag. You know, I'm not a regular Hermes shopper. I, in fact, I have only a few items from them. And I was also not prepared to play the Hermes game. So I knew if I want to have a bag from them, I have to go to Paris to get it because apparently Paris is the only place you can go into the store or boutique and get a bag. Last summer we went to Disneyland and after that we stayed a few days in Paris. Actually that was my husband's plan <laughs> and he really wanted me to get one of these because he knew how much I love bags. I'm a bag addict. If you are new to my channel you should know I have a soft spot for designer bag. I don't have so many designer bags, but I really love them. Anyway, in France they have a lottery system, which means you fill up an online form and if you're lucky you get a leather good appointment. So we did that for two, three days, me and my husband, and we were not lucky. Um, and then we decided to go Actually, again, my husband um, said we should go to the store. Now, I didn't feel really comfortable going to the store with my kids because they are very little and, you know, Hermes store is not the best place to take your kids with you, right? So, anyway, we went to their flagship um, store and... Was it their flagship store? I'm actually not sure. I will uh, put their name uh, up here. And I'm telling you, if you have ever had the desire of having the superpower of, um, you know, being invisible, go to that store. <laughs> anyway, that's what happened to me. I went to the store and I felt invisible, invisible. Not only me, but also my husband and my kids. The whole family, <laughs> we were invisible. I didn't like the vibe. I didn't like the vibe at all. So I left the store without asking anything. My husband said, should I ask for you? And I said, no, 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 <laughs> not for a bag. No, thank you. 
So we went out and uh, I never looked back and I thought, okay, this was it and I will never get a bag. Anyway, fast forward, we come back to Vienna and a new store opens. By the way, if you're new to my channel and you like fashion related content, high end fashion, but also good quality high street fashion, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I would love to have you here. Thank you so much. By the way, as I'm telling you the story, I will style this bag and uh, show you in the cutaways and everything you see in the cutaways will be linked down below, including all the sizes I'm wearing. And as a frame of reference, I'm 170 centimeter tall. So I went in there and it was beautiful. And I saw the orange sandals in the color I always wanted. And I asked if they have it in my size. They had it and then I bought them, came home and I had a second thought, thought because they were, you know, I have the orange sandals in gold color. I thought the orange sandal in uh, this etube color, it was in etube, was not really adding something to my uh, wardrobe. So I went back again <laughs> and uh, exchanged them for another one. And while I was waiting for my SA to come back, I saw many people in designers from head to toe coming in and asking for bags, but not only asking for bags, they had a few items in their hands that they wanted to buy. So I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit intimidating to see that uh, they were all rejected. They were all uh, told the same thing. No, we don't have bags and we don't have a list at the moment. So, but while I was waiting there, another lady, again, head to toe in designers, sitting there, she has been sitting there for a while, and she looked at me a few times, and finally she said, I really love your outfit. So, and then we talked, and then she told me, if you want to ask for a quote bag, just bear in mind that they don't uh, put anyone on their list after November. And I was a bit uh, taken by surprise uh, because I didn't tell her I came in for a bag, right? And then my sales associate came back and she asked me if I want to have a look around with her at the new store. And I said I would love to actually. And then uh, she was very knowledgeable about the history of Hermes uh, and also the building they moved in. So uh, she told us many really great stories and I loved it. And then we moved up into um, to th their third stories and there they had, uh, you know, jewelry and bags. And I uh, told her I would love to have uh, another bag from Hermes. I have a Kelly, I had my Kelly actually with me and I would love to have a Birkin. And she said, yes, let us, um, you know, make an appointment. And I said, okay, yeah, just like that, <laughs> yeah. And then she basically asked me when would be suitable. And then we left the store. It was a very nice, pleasant experience. I didn't feel invisible. And, uh, and then I came home and then at uh, the appointment, I went with my husband and because I wanted to have this um, emotional support, uh, somehow his presence calms me. So I wanted him to be with me. Anyway, we went there and um, the sales associate that helped me the other day and gave me the appointment, she was not there, she was on uh, leave or on, holiday, on vacation. And then I was asked uh, which color and uh, which type of bag and all that, you know. So I had uh, to make uh, three wishes. I said brown, dark brown chocolate color, then uh, a tube, uh, a tan, and um, dark green would interest me. I was very open to size, but no mini Birkin. And she was very, very surprised because she said, everyone wants to have mini Kelly or mini Birkin uh, because they have displayed those sizes there. I saw them and I knew exactly, I don't want uh, to have these sizes. And also another limitation was I was not willing to compromise on, uh, on the hardware. I wanted it to, be, to come with Palladium hardware. So 
Platinum hardware and, and no mini Kelly, mini <laughs> Birkin. And also I didn't want this bag to be black because I have my Kelly 28 in black, right? So um, I wanted, you know, to extend my uh, bag collection. Uh, yes, that was it, wasn't it? Uh, three wishes and we left, right? And then fast forward, <laughs> three weeks later, they gave me a call. Oh my God, right? They gave me a call and I was so surprised. I, I, I was speechless. And to be honest with you, also then uh, later when I went to the store to see the bag, I was speechless. I was shocked. I went in again with my husband uh, for emotional support. And um, uh, speaking of which, I paid uh, with my own money for this bag because, um, yeah, this is another story. While we were waiting for this bag to be uh, packed, two customers uh, who were there, they also asked me if uh, my husband is going to, you know, purchase this for me. And I said, no, this, this is my present to me. Uh, for all the hard work, I didn't say that, but in my mind, for all uh, the hard work, I put in uh, the last year. Last year was a heavy year for me. But anyway, uh, yes, this bag, my present to me, but my husband was there uh, to, you know, give me emotional support, uh, which was lovely. Not only emotional uh, support, actually, I also wanted him, because I knew I would be very, very excited and wouldn't have a clear head. Um, so I wanted him also to have a close look at this bag because these bags are handmade. And also, this is something I didn't know, the stitching you see on these bags cannot be made by a machine. So they are made by hand and therefore uh, you have to have a close look to see if uh, there are any imperfections that you, uh, you, you can't bear. So uh, that's, uh, that was another reason why I wanted my husband to be with me. And um, yeah, <laughs> oh my God, this bag is beautiful. It's so beautiful. I mean, it goes so well with whatever on, right? Such a good one, such a good one. I was just about to tell you in the room, you know, in which they uh, took us in, to, they unboxed this bag and uh, the sales associate showed me the bag. I couldn't talk. I was speechless, I was in shock. And then at some point she asked me if I want to have this bag, but because she was not sure. I was just like, you know, which is very unusual for me. You know how excited I can get about bags, right? But with this one, I was shocked. I saw it and I couldn't believe how much I loved it and how beautiful this was. When I went to the appointment, to choose um, the color and size and everything, you know, to make a wish. They, they gave me a few bags in different sizes to try on. One was Birkin Mini, uh, Birkin 30 and uh, 35 in different colors, but not in a tube and uh, palladium hardware, right? So I didn't really know how this bag looks in real life, right? So I was shocked, I was shocked. I was asking myself, what if I don't like the bag? You know, what, what happens then? So I was a bit afraid or, you know, worried about that. But then I saw it and I thought, oh my God, I have never seen a bag this beautiful. I know this bag is not beautiful to everyone because this bag looks very masculine actually. But if you know my style, you know that I love androgynous and masculine style. And uh, yes, uh, that's what happened. <laughs> uh, no, I am a Birkin mama. Uh, no, nah, actually, you are only a Birkin mama if you have a mini Birkin, I think, or a Birkin 25. And when I got this bag, my sales associate asked me if I want to have Twilly for this bag. And I said no. Um, but she did um, recommend getting one, maybe, because, um, you know, replacing, if, if anything happens to the handle of this bag, replacing these handles is very expensive and is very time-consuming. So maybe I get one later, 
But I don't like the look of um, Twilly on a Birkin or Kelly. I love uh, these bags as they are. You know, they look so cool as they are. And with the Twilly, they look more feminine and more playful, right? For now, it's uh, my naked Birkin, <laughs> which I absolutely love. <laughs> I'm still in shock, to be honest with you, but I'm very happy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon on my next one. Till then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.